Well, that's what he's trying to do. Well, that's what he's publicity. And maybe next time, don't send me these talk shows with the press of these middle-aged out bitches. Mm -hmm. Don't insult one of our key demographics. Middle-aged women are my key demo? Have you seen my dream content? I'm not sure you know what you're talking about. Stop mouthing off and get a recording. Yes, ma'am. Right on it. Yeah, yeah. Interior, Rose and State. <clears throat> Rowan and his mom, Debbie, are sitting at the dining room table going over the summer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, Rose, the calculus you're handling it is extremely advanced for your age. That's easy. There are only so many numbers, right? I don't understand why you can't do this while in school. Uh, boring work. I just can't motivate myself to do it. It seems like a waste. Well, you did homework for me. You're my mom. You can hit me. What if I gave your instructors the right to smack you around a bit? How about we just keep doing it? Don't you plan on going back to school eventually? Not really, no point. Nothing to learn there. High school teachers are a sorry breed. I was sent up there because they messed up whatever they really wanted to do with their lives. That's not true, Ro. You can't go to college without finishing high school. There are equivalency tests. I don't think college is for me anyway. It's just not meant for everyone, you know? Well, I want my son to go to school, to have a normal experience. Normal experiences lead to normal lives, and that is exactly what I'm trying to avoid. So you would rather be poor and destitute and sleeping in a gutter like the, abnor the abnormal than label yourself normal? Don't worry about me becoming homeless. I was thinking of something more on the other side of the non-normative spectrum. Unemployment is at 32%. What chance do you have at a career without, I don't know that? Like I said, that can happen. You of all people should know I have the smarts, oh, and the wits to pull off a win. You have the confidence, which is half the battle. Scout is heard unlocking the front door. Are you expecting someone? Oh, it's just Scout, Mom. Why so jumpy? I'm not jumpy. I just really wanted us to buckle down here. Scout enters the kitchen. He whips his keys at Rose. Ah, ah! Ask me a question. What? Go to Salmon's and do that thing, you know that thing. What are you talking about, Doug? No, 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 no. <laughs> Mom, absolutely not. Salmon still lives with his mother. <clears throat> I promised I'll move out since he finally grew a pair. You have work to do here. I know, so I'm sorry about that. Why can't Scott just do it? Uh, I helped him move in last time. I'm not helping him move out this time. Plus, an inordinate amount of his stuff is sticky. Mm -hmm. It's all right, Mom. We'll catch up tomorrow. Debbie gives him a dis disappointed look. He minds wiping his face. <laughs> I'm trying to wipe that face off your look. <laughs> Get going, Rose. Keep your mom coming. I should really just be getting back. Rose exits. Scout sits next to Debbie. You aren't going anywhere. Scout puts the paperwork. This is some pretty complicated stuff here. Why don't so many turns at these? <laughs> Let me get rid of the math things. That's too simple algebra. No, oh, see, so you oxymoroned it there, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> Let me show you. She begins to work out the problem. Uh, you want a drink? No, I really should. I insist. All right, just one. I'll have a thing for explain. Coming right up. Scott pulls the whiskey out of the freezer. He pours a few shots into each of the, the tumblers. He brings it to the table. What is this? I asked for a Singapore sling and this I thought you were joking. You were just doing that fussy bitch thing, but okay. Get. This is fine, but for future reference, I am not all that humorous, so take me seriously. Oh, serious. <laughs> Why is that? You are a lovely woman. You should be living and laughing and drinking and making love <laughs> on kitchen counters. Scott <laughs> slams his hand out of the kitchen <laughs> Oh, dear. You're so <laughs> uptight. Tell me, darling. What is going on in Rose Mom's life? It's not that I'm uptight. Wait, you are so uptight that you're making me want to prove it. Scott rushes over to get two shot glasses and brings them back to Debbie. He fills them up. So, we are going to ask each other a few provocative questions here. And every time that one of us blushes or looks away embarrassed or refuses to answer, you have to take a shot. Fair? No, this is silly. I have to go home. I have to drive home. You don't have to do anything. 
When Roe gets back, he will take you back. Keep in mind, this is quality time with your son's roommate. You can't pass up a chance to get to know me. This guy's probably the biggest influence in your kid's life right now. In fact, your resistance to even play demands that you take a shot. He inches the shot glass towards her. She looks at him for a moment before taking a shot. She reacts rattling to the shot. All right. Okay. Now we're cooking. Uh -huh. Ask one. Anything you want. Oh, good. I've been wanting to know. How old are you? Wait, we look away. <laughs> hey, you looked away. Take the shot. You are certainly right. I will happily take it. And for the record, I am 27 at the moment. My turn. Favorite place to be kissed. Debbie makes a concerted effort to look out in the eyes, but she still God. looks down. <laughs> Drink, and I still have to have, and you still have to answer. <coughs> collarbone. Scout refills the shot glasses. He points at her right collarbone and lightly touches it. This side? He lightly drags his fingers to the left side of the collarbone. Or this side? She exhales audibly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I have one for you now. How many girls have you been with? Girls? Uh, about a dozen or so. Women? Uh, sadly only two women. Debbie takes a shot for no reason. That for a second turn. Show me how uptight I am. I can cheat with the best of them. And how many people have you been with? One. Oh, that's really cute, <laughs> really sad. What, are you just giving up on life? <laughs> Hey, I got married at 16. Got rid of both shot glasses. Here's the mistakes. They claim shot glasses and knock them back. <coughs> so, tell me, how do you pick up your girl, women, ladies? Do we start with the collarbone for us? <laughs> no, seriously. You want me to show you? Debbie slowly shakes her head no. Scout slightly pulls aside her shirt and kisses her collarbone. Oh, oh my she gosh. She remembers. Debbie slowly works his way up her neck. Her jaw drops a bit and the kisses her cheek. Very slowly, their lips meet. He moves in closer and closer and climbs up on the kitchen island. He pulls her up there, too. The pots and pans hanging from above clatter and start falling off as they start ripping each other's clothes off. Scout right. kisses her body all over and makes his way over to her lady part. She shrieks with joy, grabs the pasta pot, squeezes the handle, and puts it over his head for a moment. She begins banging the pot over his head wildly with joy. He does a retreat. Oh my god! Damn! 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 Scott. I like you said it correctly first, and then you corrected yourself incorrectly. Like a scout. 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 That's the character. That's why I was like, I was like, wait, hold on. Where do I go? Yeah. Oh, who has the gun? Anybody? Of course. And Katie. Of course. We keep you for that. <laughs> you go Good to face so much. <laughs> um, oh, next week things start changing. Your character comes into play. Your character comes into play. We got a little Jeff up in it. Get all crazy uh, dark. Uh, we'll for Jack. Wait, did you, Wait, did you just say we get crazy dark? We haven't gone I'm to dark places before. Oh, so we get to see the horror show? Yeah. Yes, Ooh. horror begins. We start dealing with you dreamers next week. Yeah. I get a bit of the bloody one. They say I'm a dreamer, <laughs> but I'm not the only one. Yeah.